Valve, the company behind Counter Strike and Steam Deck, have been making some real wins for the Arch Linux community for quite some time now. And now it's even better because Valve recently made a partnership with Arch Linux. So it means that Valve will now directly make their development contribution to the Arch Linux project, which in itself is a big, very big win for the community. See, Linux is by its nature is open source. That means any development to one flavor of Linux can be implemented across all the other versions as well. And this is also the reason that Valve's work on Proton has been a massive progress to the Linux community. And Proton basically lets you play games which are exclusive to Windows that you can run on Linux. So it basically uses Wine in the backend to facilitate this. And you can say that it kind of turbochars the efforts of Wine what it was doing. Now the reason this is a very big news for us in the Linux community is especially in the Arch Linux community is that the Steam OS, which is a fork of Arch Linux, meaning that uh, the Steam OS is basically a customized version of Arch. So by doing this partnership or collaboration, Valve is like, uh, we really rely on you. Let's fund you to work on your own projects. The leader of the Arch Linux project was Levante Poliak. Wrote a note as well on the main Arch website, as you can see here. So from what he's saying, it seems this collaboration will make things a lot easier for the whole Arch Linux community, especially the developers, to get the things done more quickly. So as you can see, this guy says that we are excited to announce that Arch Linux is entering into a direct collaboration with Valve. So Valve is generously providing backing for two critical projects that will have a huge impact on our distributions. Especially they are talking about the desktop OS, we'll get into that, a build service infrastructure and a secure signing enclave. By supporting work on a freelance basis for these topics, Valve enables us to work on them without being limited solely by the free time of our volunteers. So as of now, before this whole partnership thing, all of the desktop uh, progress or any other progress apart from servers that were happening everything was happening basically on com community volunteer basis but now that valve is putting a lot of money and all the time and efforts and all the development progresses it means that you know all of the things that are being done as of now will be way quicker than it was earlier and this opportunity allows us to address some of the biggest outstanding challenges we have been facing for a while. The collaboration will speed up progress that would otherwise take much longer for us to achieve and will ultimately unblock us from finally pursuing some of our planned endeavors. We are incredibly grateful for Valve to make this possible for the explicit commitment to help and support the Arch Linux. So you can see that how important this partnership is and one other good thing you can expect from this collaboration is that gaming on ARM devices using Arch Linux. So in September, Valve publicly pushed some changes to their Proton code base where they introduced new testing for ARM64 Proton compatibility layer. So this basically allows any games to run on ARM devices running Linux. So does this collab with Arch Linux link up to with that same Proton development? Maybe yes, maybe no. But if it happens, basically you'll be able to play games on Linux on ARM based uh, desktops. But that's probably based on a future assumptions. So we are not sure about that. Either way, this is an exciting time for us in the Linux community, whether we are on a PC or a Steam Deck, right? Let's hope that uh, the there are good things ahead and we can play our favorite triple a titles on you know linux that's that's like a huge win for the whole all of the gamers in this community so in the desktop linux space if we talk about that there are only few players i should say especially the size of a valve so getting valve more directly involved in desktop is massive because most of the funding is in the server and uh, what happens the desktop was left out as a community hope so all of the development that you have seen till now was happening because of a volunteer basis but that's gonna change and overall the projects that they are working on will definitely improve the whole ecosystem for all linux users not just the steam deck and this is another huge win for us 
that it shows the valve really want this direction to work and they're continuing to throw a lot of money into this and reinvest all of their work as well and this is a very 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 great sign right this means more things that can move out of the aur repository and into the direct standard packages that arch provides which will allow faster updates plus less bloat which we all love right and it also reduces the barrier to entry for developers who want to ship packages directly onto the package manager directly instead of relying third party extra packages and finally before ending this video i want to add one more personal win which is those people who used to get back to gnome saying how polished gnome is or ubuntu is they cannot piss off as as things are really bright for the arch linux community and we can expect arch linux to be more polished as well